Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the Noom Karmas. My name is Dirty Hutu, and today, not from Mexico, but from Spain. Let's find a nice place to go and sit and record today's TA video, guys, while I really enjoy my Bitcoin car again. The Machina, yes, beautiful car again. I'm going to find a spot somewhere here. I have guys today's short TA video I'm uh, going to make a very short one because I'm going to uh, enjoy breakfast with my father and mother-in-law because this is their house we're staying at their place for a couple of days week and then move on where to we don't know yet but first let's jump into the charts because they are very important at the moment Bam. This is the first chart, guys. We have a four-hour chart. That is um, this one. If you see dogs, that's Kenzo and Fino. They are always running around here. It's a uh, very nice dogs, but if you stand, they jump. Now they are cool. Four hours. Four hour chart, guys. We can see that we broke that beautiful red line that I was talking about. Uh, we didn't reach the top over there, but we did break it and we retested the line, and now we are going up again. So that's a very positive sign for Bitcoin. It's a healthy sign. It's a 21 moving average on a four hour chart. So we are nearing the end of this huge triangle. So there will be a breakout between now and pff, 6th of June, 7th of June, somewhere like that. Really cool chart. Let's jump into the next one. Bam over here this is the monthly chart yes we had a monthly close of may and we have the opening of june uh, i was flying during during that opening and it's a good chart in my opinion you know we, we started there we'll be closing and i think this will go up this still to the white line forty five thousand us dollar this month maybe even higher and um, if we compare the monthly to all the other bull runs we didn't see many monthly candles closing below the midline of the logarithmic growth curve, uh, but we had a few. And uh, like here in 2013, we had one below it, two below it, three, four, five below that midline before the sixth line went over again. In 2017, when we went over it, we had one below it, the second started below it, and then it went over that one again. So let's see what on the monthly chart is going to happen. But for me, I am still not that bearish. I'm still uh, pretty bullish. But on the BLX, um, I need to admit this one jumped from red to white so that should have been a warning here in april already but at that moment we were not looking uh, yet at that chart like that let's jump into bam this one this is the weekly chart guys on the weekly chart you can see that if we copy 2013 we would be making this move um now if we not if we won't copy it we can see that we are down below that line the green line and that is the one that everybody's talking about the 21 ema uh, that should be the start of the bear time they tell us but i don't believe that yes uh, you're smelling here the, the dogs want to be on the camera um we saw the same happening in 2013 over there we became below it the green line and we stayed below it let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine weeks nine weeks that's a two-month consolidation phase around that second line that first line below the midline growth curve so that's almost two months um that could happen again guys we could stay around this area here for two months slowly go up so to 40k again like this area and then break out to the top all possible that we see this consolidation guys if you want to um trade or do all that stuff on these beautiful exchanges then please use I, I, I need to check is my face in the screen yes it's okay uh, use the links down below the videos so in the text you can see the special offers the buy bit offers uh, the prime xbt offer the machina trader uh, the dudex binance please use these referral links because we use those fees uh, to help people all over the world let's jump in the bam next one stock to flow model very important model that we all believe in like you can see the midline of that uh, stock to flow model would be 100k in 2017 the yellow area led it up to the green area in 2013 yellow turned into green we are now yellow we still need to turn green and go above that 100k line if it is to up to me guys and if we look into the 17 the moment we were green here down below on the chart below the below the 
uh, down below on the chart. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Abajo, or uh, I don't know how to say it. In the green area, um, that was still a positive area. When we read red in 2017, that was the area we were having the bull run top. 2014, 2013, same. We are now in the green area. We still need to go above that line again to come in this red over um, heated area so let's see if that is going to happen guys let's jump into the next few charts they have more charts really cool charts uh, four more please keep watching these charts are the best charts from the day of the day bam this is the first one buenos dias this is the first one um i make my face a little bit smaller like this and like that let's see here you can see uh, on this chart the bottom cycle peak index i've talked about this chart many more times and i will every time every month repeat it again the cycle was over here and after the cycle the red cycle we went 17 times to the top after the blue cycle over there the peak the first peak we went 39 times to the top and now we are at 1.8 times the top so 20k times 1.8 is where we are now if we would repeat history guys then we should be going up to maybe like 10 times 15 times somewhere over there if we you know if, if we did if the tops decreases like 39 to 17 we should go even to eight or nine so we still need to have that run to the top over there guys bam not a chart cycle bottom it's showing the same we are now 11.4 times the bottom normally the bull on top is around 500 times the bottom or even higher guys like you can see i need to draw normally it's around 500 times the bottom or 112 times the bottom not 11 times maybe 50 times somewhere over there all possible but let's see we still need to uh, see if it happens but in my opinion it will happen bam and another chart of course the halving price since the halving to the top uh, in the previous runs we went times 92 times 30 and now times four no not going to happen but if you look very closely at the chart the very cool thing to see is this drop over there that we now see the white line that was also there in the 2017 bull run that was the moment we dropped from 2k sorry from 3k that's at the moment we dropped from 3k to 2k so in that drop this one over there from 2k from 3k to 2k we are seeing the drop now exactly again not from 3k to 2k but we saw the drop from 60k to around 30k and now we are hovering out 35k so at exactly the same moment after the halving we saw that huge drop which means after this drop in my opinion we will still go up just that we saw in the red line as well guys and we can see this in bam this chart in this chart we are looking at the halving top this is a very special chart in my opinion i like it this is the halving top over there okay i'm going to delete the circle it's too fat i'm going to look if my face is on the screen no it's okay ah look i can even make me, myself a little bit bigger guys yes not, not so structured video but i don't um, have the time and i'm I just arrived give me time to uh, acclimate here in spain again um halving top over there in 2014 then we draw a line of 0.5 that means like the the steepness of the line 0.5 and then we see when we break that line we go up over here guys we, we break the line to the upside and then we retest the line and then we go up to the next top then we are here at the top again this is the top you all remember this is the 2017-18 top okay now let's see what happens if we draw from that top again that line with a 0.5 steeply growth we break that line we retest that line and what do you expect i expect that the top because if we look at the line look it's happening we got we broke it like we did over there we came back to retest it we came back to retest it over there and now we should go up to that parabolic climb all the way up to almost 300k that is what i believe that is going to happen guys this is in my opinion a copy of the runs we have seen before so let's see if it happens again we are retesting this line now if we will hold support around this line and we will see the same growth that we saw over here that would be fantastic of course and even then after that we can still go up and like you see up and come down again and then go up all possible but let's see what is going to happen do i have more charts bam yes again the stock to flow bottle also that one telling us the same 
that one is telling us the same that we are look every time we tested the bottom of that blue area there 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 and there 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 every time when we touch the bottom of the blue area now there these moments are the moments to buy these moments are the moments you make the most profits these moments are the moments that the line will go um, from here i will do it like this we'll go up again and we'll break over and then we'll come down again and do the same thing again next bull run that is my opinion guys um okay bam that was the video for the day guys if you enjoyed today's videos with all the dogs and all the cars and the bitcoin mobile on the back please give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment as i love to respond to your comments the next couple of videos will here will be here from spain we are near alicante and then we don't know yet but i will keep you up to date thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again bam <laughs>